Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. I've got some news coming out of Dish for you all today. Anytime we get updates from them, it's always good to report. Uh, one of the hardest areas of wireless telecom is to get information on this new up-and-coming fourth carrier. So when I get it, I like to bring it to you. So we've got two pieces, actually, to report on. So the first thing is Intel has been pegged as Dish's VRAN partner. All right, so what does this mean? So... Dish obviously has to build its network from scratch. They've got a Greenfield standalone 5G network that they plan on building. And, you know, news has been pretty hard to come by. It's been pretty scarce. In previous months, we've slowly learned about all of the new hardware and software vendors that Dish was going to be utilizing. So from a vendor standpoint with software, core suppliers, all of this that's going to go into building the new fourth wireless provider, the focus for Dish has really been about you know, utilizing and leveraging Open RAN or ORAN, which is a, uh, a situation that is probably going to help them save some money and be better capable of stretching their dollars to build out a larger, uh, you know, virtualized architecture-based core. They'll, they'll be flexible. They'll be scalable. You know, they'll offer this mix and match and supplier build and networking that should be, you know, to their advantage. So it's obviously going to reduce commitments to suppliers, increase competition for business, you know, reducing costs and overhead for DISH. So as of right now, we see that Intel has been pegged for the software reference infrastructure. Uh, you know, DISH has chosen the Intel Xeon scalable processor, the Intel Ethernet 800 series uh, network adapter, and the VRAN dedicated accelerator ACC100. This is all the base station equipment here. So gives us some insight on what they're going to be utilizing. Uh, obviously, you know, this is what powers the servers that will control the tower radio. So we're talking about, you know, all the things that are going on on site. Uh, Nokia has been selected as the standalone 5G core supplier. VMware has been uh, selected as the telco cloud uh, platform company. And then we have Mavenir and Altio Star, which are going to be the software vendors for the new Dish network. So uh, being that it is going to be virtual cloud native network, things are really coming together. We're learning more and more all the time. And uh, I think the question now is who's going to be providing the servers. So, um, you know, are, is it going to be at the base towers or is it going to be a situation they're at nearby data centers? We'll have to wait and see, but that seems like a plausible thing to expect next from DISH. So let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you have any experience with these, uh, you know, technical pieces of equipment and what's going on at the tower site. Uh, maybe you're in, you know, these this line of work. You could comment on it. I'd like to to know what you'd have to say. So go ahead and comment below. The second piece, which I think is a bigger deal to us, at least on the consumer side, is the first 5G tower site pictured here, all right, on this image, is uh, live and in testing. This is a 5G base station. Obviously, we just learned about the Intel deal and what that means. Uh, the location here is Littleton, Colorado, Colorado, where DISH has their headquarters. Uh, this is where they do their wireless networking business. So Dave Mayo, an executive over at Dish, posted images of the site and the crew on LinkedIn. And uh, I also found it on Twitter. Good looking out, Walt. Appreciate you sharing that with the with the public there. Uh, the network build is estimated to cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 billion. Obviously, we've already talked about ORAN and how they can save money in that way, which should, again, improve their money situation. Tower rental costs, technicians, scaling. You've got to be able to be flexible and really stretch your dollars. And uh, in terms of when the network starts to build, we are expecting something to really become substantial early next year, as indicated by executives. So 20% of the U.S. has to be covered by 2022 mid-year and 70% of the country covered by 2023 mid-year. So the focus for DISH, I think, appears to be coverage, building out the network, creating that footprint of a network. Uh, not really going to be speed-based. If you're looking for speed, I think moving forward, it's more going to be the traditional network operators, those that have been around. So we're talking about Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. If if speed is what you want, you're going that way. Don't you know expect it. I think, or I don't even think it's realistic to expect it from Dish at this time, right? And and nowhere in the near future. I'd say probably not for the next five years. We'll see a substantial, fast and speedy network from Dish. Their focus, most likely and and rightfully so, should be coverage. Let me know what you think in the comment section below of this news. I know a lot of people were questioning whether Dish was actually going to build out a network. 
now we're starting to see tower sites go for testing the next expectation is that next year we'll start to see the build out hitting large scale so all we got to do is start seeing some some deals with american tower and crown castle and everything is on the go again comment below let me know what you think if you're encouraged if you're happy to see this your thoughts and opinions the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the smt youtube channel if you appreciated this video give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms thank you in advance for that also check out some of the links in the description box we have the smt patreon page we also have the twitter handle at sneed tech and do check out the audio only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms and if you are new and have yet have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the smt We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.